Okay, so remember when I said that the Rocklam Ang Light is a perfect value mechanical keyboard? Medyo smart tayo. Well, I think I found the perfect value mechanical keyboard and that's with a capital T-H-E. Okay, so what I have with me today is the Royal Kludge RK100 or RK... Yeah, or the RK860 which is honestly kind of a confusing naming scheme on Royal Kludge's part. So why do I say that this is the perfect value, the perfect value mechanical keyboard even though I haven't unboxed it yet? Well, let's find out. What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be an unboxing and I guess you can say a quick review on the Royal Kludge RK, RK100 or RK860. So I'm not sure if the RK860 is like the non-RGB version of the RK100, I'm not sure. But yeah, this has RGB. So that's the best part about this keyboard. And yeah, medyo nalason ko sarili ko kahit na ang point ko talaga nung Cray 2 livestream ko is manglaso ng mga tao. So shoutout nga kay Parot, nakatulong ka din dun sa paglaso sa sakili ko. So yeah, this is going to be my main keyboard moving forward. And uh, you'll know why sa unbox this. And there we have the keyboard itself. So it's a full-size mechanical keyboard with uh, the uh, numpad kind of integrated uh, with the main keys. I'm just gonna set this aside and see what else is in the box. Here we have the user manual which I'm not gonna read I think. And behind this we have the cables. So we do have wait whoa. Okay so correct me if I'm wrong but I think this is like a combo a switch puller and the keycap puller so as you can see and here we have the type A not gold plated to type C cable and according to my estimate this cable is uh, approximately six feet long so I'm just gonna do a sound test real quick the microphone is just over here a few inches from the keyboard so And what you're actually hearing is the red switch variant of the RK100 with... I think this is a Royal Kludge's in-house red switches, so it says RK here. I'm not sure if this is just a um, rebranded uh, Otemo switch or Gatron switch. But yeah, what I bought is the red switch variant of this. And what we have here is actually a universal socket for mechanical switches. So as you know, uh, with the Raklam Ang Light is that this only has a socket for Otemo switches. So you can pretty much customize this keyboard technically to however you want. And just a physical overview of the keyboard. So it is again a full-size mechanical keyboard um, because I actually do miss having a numpad um, especially when playing games like GTA 5. And just below the keyboard or I guess you can say facing the user are the different LED indicators. I think these two are for if you're using this in the 2.4 GHz connection or Bluetooth uh, battery indicator. And I think this is for um, caps lock and this is for numpad. At least I think so. And on the top right of the keyboard, we do have two USB pass-throughs and then the USB Type-C port if you're gonna use this in wired mode or charge this. And under the keyboard, we do have these four uh, rubber pads or feet. Also, of course, kickstands. Here on the left, we have the on-off switch and then uh, Bluetooth or if you're using the 2.4 GHz dongle. And over here on the right, we do have the 2.4 GHz dongle. Uh, which I'm probably gonna use instead of Bluetooth since it's a more reliable connection. So by now, I think you know why I'm calling this the perfect value mechanical keyboard, at least for me. I don't know about you since most of the people are actually into real compact 60-65% mechanical keyboards these days. So obviously, this is not as compact as a 65% or even a TKL mechanical keyboard. But yeah, this is definitely more compact compared to like a full size full size mechanical keyboard so again you have hot swappable mechanical switches a universal socket at that you have a choice of bluetooth connection or 2.4 gigahertz or wired mode i mean it doesn't really make sense to use this in just wired mode if you bought this but for now i'm just gonna actually plug this in real quick and show you guys 
Yan, masama yata yung ganyan. Okay, so so far what I haven't told you about this is that this actually comes in two color options. Uh, what I have, of course, with me is the black color option. This also comes with a white color option, so that's very nice. And of course, most of all, why I call this the perfect value mechanical keyboard is the price. So this costs a little over $50 US or just a little over 2,500 pesos here in the Philippines. Okay, so I'm just gonna change this to a solid color. So you have a few different effects here. Wow! Actually, I'm just gonna show you guys how that effect works. Wow! So yeah, that's like my default shit. Also, the color that I use for the channel. So first impressions on the brightness of the LEDs. It gets uh, decently bright, not the brightest that I've seen on a mechanical keyboard. And as for connecting this in the wired mode, um, it's pretty much just plug and play. I would assume it would apply for the 2.4 GHz connection, which I'm actually gonna test right now. Okay, so it's like I expected. It's pretty much just plug and play. And yeah, it's... Uh, pretty damn awesome. I mean, I haven't made my full review on this, but so far it's met my expectations for the perfect value mechanical keyboard and um, I was right with my assumption on these LEDs. Shit, mag off Putang ina. Parang ina ito nangyari. Nag-shutdown to. No! Okay, just a quick segue mga kuya. While I was shooting the video again for the RK100, RK860, this is the first time that my Sony ZV-1 has shut down because the temperature was too high. So as you know, I've been shooting 4K videos in pretty much all my videos recently. And yeah, this is kind of an anomaly day where it actually shut down because of overheating. So yeah. A few moments later. Okay, so as I was saying with the LED indicators here uh, below the keyboard, so I was right with my assumption. So this is for numpad, caps lock. Uh, the middle one is for Bluetooth, uh, 2.4 GHz connection obviously, and if you're charging the device or if the battery is full, the LED on that will change color. And as for using this in Bluetooth mode, so just the switch here, and what you're gonna do now since you're in Bluetooth mode, press function A if you're gonna use this of course on a Windows machine, uh, function S if you're using a Mac, and this can remember up to three devices, so you have 4Q, W, and E, so I want to assign this to number one, so that's uh, function Q, just hold it. On my RK68, the Q switch is supposed to blink rapidly, indicating that it's in pairing mode, but here on the RK100, it's actually here. This will blink if it's in pairing mode. So the device should appear on your machine or on your Android phone. So of course you have your shortcuts here on the function key row. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for my unboxing and quick review of the Royal Clutch RK100. I'm probably gonna do a full review on this because again for me, this is the perfect value mechanical keyboard. I don't know about you. But yeah, uh, I'll leave the links in the description if you already want to buy this right now. I mean, who wouldn't want this keyboard? Again, hot swappable mechanical switches, universal socket for all the switches that you might want to put on this. Of course, again, you can use this in wired mode. It has 2.4 GHz connection, so that's a major win for me. And Bluetooth connection if that's what you want to use. It's definitely more compact compared to like a, a real full-size mechanical keyboard because I think a few people might see this at first glance to be a compact or a 65% mechanical keyboard since uh, there's no gap here for the um, arrow keys and then the numpad. And yeah, this is going to be my main keyboard moving forward. It's just absolutely very nice. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's so simple that I love it. Simple looking, I mean. And here's a size comparison of the RK100 to the Rocklam Ang Light, which is again a TKL keyboard. And it's insane to think that the RK100 is just a bit bigger compared to a TKL keyboard. And here's the RK68, which is a 65% keyboard 
compared to the RK100. So as you can tell, I'm very happy with my purchase. And uh, if you guys of course enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. That's the easiest way to support the channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. As always, stay safe mga kuya. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Still got a cheddar fan Yeah, I'm watching out for ops Yeah, they not my fan